Live, Live from the Harare International Conference Center. This is the 21st National Arts Merit Awards, NAMA. Hosted by the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe. In conjunction with Jacaranda Culture and Media Corporation. Welcome to Zimbabwe's biggest night for the arts. Welcome to the pride of Zimbabwean art. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NAMA. Charlene Mangweni Furusa is an award-winning actress, voiceover artist, and media personality. Since 2009, her love for storytelling allows her to be multifaceted in the way she delivers content across different platforms, taking on various roles from scripting to producing to directing, working on projects both locally and beyond our borders. Her voice is a staple across the country's supermarkets and retail stores. Ladies and gentlemen, your voice host for tonight, Charlene Furusa. Gemma Griffiths is an award-winning singer-songwriter. Having grown up in a musical home, music came as naturally as swimming does to a duck. She first got the attention of Zimbabweans when she sang her rendition of Winky D's Musarova Bigiman. Her most recent hits include A Girl from Harare, Uyatinamate, and Maita Basababa. 
the music sensation sends crowds roaring into applause with each stellar performance she gives. Ladies and gentlemen, your co-host for tonight, Gemma Griffiths. Godfrey Chief Corti is an award-winning media personality, best known for his command of a crowd. Whether he is on the radio, TV or on stage, as the ZTA Head of Corporate Affairs, he is also the man behind numerous successful campaigns and brilliant marketing strategies at the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority, coming up with innovative ways to show off our beautiful country. Digital Marketing Beast, Event MC, and tonight, your host for Nama 21, Chief Korti. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? It's a very good evening and welcome along to the National Merit Awards right here in Zimbabwe, in Harare, the Sunshine City. I hope I do find you all right here. And to those that are joining us live or on the television set, how are you doing? I hope I find you well this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, we are turning 21. Just look at your neighbor and say, happy 21, Nama. I'm sure you can say it louder. Say, happy 21st Nama. I see a lot in the crowd here, ladies and gentlemen. There's uh, people who are looking absolutely beautiful, handsome, and exquisite tonight. I hope uh, we find you well wherever you are joining us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting the show here, and we are going to be enjoying ourselves. Say, we are going to be enjoying ourselves. Na enjoyment, that's the word. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, this time around, ladies and gentlemen, it's the 21st edition of the NAMA. And we are going to be doing it in an exceptionally amazing way. And of course, of course, we are going to do it the Zimbabwean way. And here, we start the show tonight with the words from our very own, the board chair for the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe, Dr. Maraire. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give her a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the 21st NAMA. On behalf, I'm Dr. Nozi Pomarire. I'm the board chair of the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe. On behalf of my board, the director, Nicholas Moyo, and all of the management at the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe, welcome. It gives me pleasure to acknowledge the presence of our honorable minister, Kirsty Coventry, Minister of Youth, Sports, Arts and Recreation. I would like to also welcome the Namibian delegation from the National Arts Council and their ambassador this evening. We have our ministry, our Perm Secretary, Dr. Chitepo, our Director, Dr. Samwande, and our Deputy Minister, Mr. Chaka Chaikaru, thank you. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> we have from the Ministry of Information, uh, Mr. Nick Mangwana, thank you for being with us here tonight. I thank our director, I think I've mentioned Nicholas Moyo, and all dignitaries present, those whose name I pronounced correctly and those whose names I didn't. We welcome you all to the 21st NAMA edition. Our theme this year is Dreams Unlocked. And what are dreams? Dreams are the unfettered imagination of the human mind. And those of you who've had daydreams and who've woken from slumber know what dreams are like. It is that human imagination sprinkled with a little bit of divine inspiration, right? It is that same creative energy of dreams that gives us poetry and song. It gives us dance and theater. It gives us sculpture and tremendous iconic artworks. It is for that very creative energy that we're gathered here this evening. We're here to celebrate the resilience 
and the vibrancy of the arts sector in Zimbabwe. Despite COVID, despite lockdown, despite the inability to collaborate, despite the shortage of critical inputs, and what would seem to anybody but a Zimbabwean, insurmountable economic and social hurdles. Our creatives have created a plethora of work, a body of work that at once inspires wonder, admiration. We are grateful to all of you as artists who've resilient. Let's give them a round of applause. The songs that you will hear, the songs of the creatives, they are the songs that comfort us when we are sad. They inspire us when we're down, and there we cre they create those memories when we celebrate with our families. The theater and the literature, they make us reflect on who we are as people. They make us look at the world anew. And those iconic pieces of art, they make us so happy to be human. They make us reflect for a moment and proud to be Zimbabwean. But art isn't just about what you feel, what art makes you feel. We at the National Arts Council are committed to the showcasing, the promotion, and the development of the creative arts sector. We know from other countries that the arts can make up six to 8% of the GDP. That's hundreds of millions of dollars, up to billions of dollars. If you doubt it, think about how much money Hollywood draws in to Los Angeles, California, let alone the United States. So we are championing the arts as a driver of economic development. And we are saying, as the National Arts Council, we're looking forward to untapping that wealth that exists in our country. But we also know that the arts can be a driver for tourism. People leave their homes, comfort of their own homes, get on a plane, travel hundreds of thousands of miles to a place they've never been. Why? Do you think English people come to drink English tea in Zimbabwe? No. They come to find us. And I would like to salute the artists who create the bold structures, the words, the music, the rhythm, the, the song that gets people to know us. The Nama is 21 years old, somebody said it. And anyone who's been 21 knows that it's a transition. It's an inflection point in life. You're coming from being your youthful, exuberant self, maybe you've made a few mistakes, to maturity and adulthood. We at Nama, we're looking back on our past with pride. There's a lot that we're proud of, but we can also see that we made some mistakes and we're looking forward to our future. That is why we have embarked as the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe on a comprehensive and consultative look at NAMA. We invite your feedback. We look forward to having you as part of the process, but we're looking at every aspect of NAMA. The categories, the selection process, the way that we do the education, the way the whole show is run. And we hoped to bring you a more vibrant NAMA. And that is because the art world moves apace. How, how many of you have heard of non-fungibles or whatever that is? Right, the world, the world has moved on. Maybe we should have a prize for non-fungibles or whatever the expression is. So please bear with us. Give us your creative and positive input so that we get you the best NAMA of possible in 2024. NAMA would not be possible without our sponsors. Sounds like we've got a future singer. NAMA would not be possible without the support, first of our ministry, but also of our sponsors, both in private sector, public, and in the NGO, and the diplomatic community. We thank you, especially JCMSC, who is the event coordinator. We're looking forward to a fantastic show. Tonight, we're celebrating creatives. We're celebrating that unfettered imagination of the human mind. But it is you, 
the people who love, support, put up with, encourage the artists. We are grateful to all of you for doing that. For all the nominees, congratulations. Well done. But I want you to know that whether you take home a prize or not is not really what this evening is about. What this evening is about is that you have shared with us your dreams, your unfettered imagination. You have come vulnerable and shown us what is deep with, uh, with inside yourself. And you shared it with all of us. And by doing that, you make us better people. You make us see us ourselves in a better light. So as far as I'm concerned, everybody who's creative is a winner tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you all for coming. Thank you very much there to our director. Shall we give you another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? All I had was tourism. And I'm excited. Ladies and gentlemen, it is definitely your world of wonders. This beautiful country with beautiful people. Talking about beautiful people that have an impact, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me at this point in time to call upon our guest of honor, our minister uh, in the Ministry of Sport, Art and Culture. Uh, that's uh, Kirsty Coventry, our very good doctor. Ladies and gentlemen, your hands together. Hello, good evening, thank you very much, and good evening to you all. Um, wow, we're jumping straight into the thick of things. Just felt like I just sat down. And um, our dear chairman, thank you so much for those beautiful words. And she was just saying to me, do you think they're gonna give us a heads up when we get up? I'm like, I don't know, and the next thing she's up on stage. So good evening to all of you here, to those of you who are joining us uh, from home and around the, the globe, and those of you in the diaspora, I hope this is making you wanting and wishing to be back home here with us. Um, I don't know if I can really top what our chairman has just said. That was the most beautiful, um, heartfelt uh, speech. Thank you very much. Um, and I really wanted to take recognition um, of the deliberate uh, three singers that we had up here for our national anthem. If that, that gave me chills, the entire <laughs> national anthem. It made me so proud to be Zimbabwean. It made me proud to show our unity and our diversity. And it really made me proud to show that we are telling our own stories. That is the ministry's push this year. We are wanting Zimbabweans to tell our stories. We are wanting to unite a nation through our artists and our creative cultural industries and our sports. And we're wanting people to be proud. Be proud to be Zimbabwean. That made me so proud. It literally gave me chills. And um, it just really made me feel excited to be here with all of you. Thank you to our incredible artists that live and breathe Zimbabwe. You speak it. You dream it you then deliver on it, whether it's through theater or music or art and um, paintings and sculptures. We have such an incredible talent and such an incredible young talent coming through. And I wanna thank each and every one of you because we were talking the other day about who are we as Zimbabweans. And we know right now that our young people are being challenged and have many different difficulties, some of those being drugs and substance abuse at the moment. And we've been leaning on our artists and we've been leaning on our sports people to inspire, inspire a youth, make them believe in Zimbabwe, in who we are and how we are going to develop this country together. It has to be together, it has to be united and it has to be something that we believe. And if we don't continue to tell our story, 
Someone else is going to come in and tell our story because it's that good. And they're not going to tell it the way we would tell it. So let's do that together. Let's tell our story the way we want the world to see us, not the rest of the world telling us how they see us. That for me is really important. And um, as our beautiful chair was talking about in COVID, some of the most inspirational, um, I, I don't know if it was because we were locked off from each other, and I lean more on our, on our artists and our musicians, but some of the music that came from all of you during that time has been incredible. So keep it up. As uh, our chair said, you're all winners. You have all given something to this country, to your sector, that is allowing for younger people to continue to dream and be inspired and push even higher. So thank you so much and congratulations to all of you. Winners, nominations, those that weren't nominated, congratulations, you are delivering on pushing this creative cultural sector industry forward and making it a formal sector. And that makes me happy because then I can go to my partner ministries of finance and give them the KPIs and the return on investment and get more money. So keep doing what you're doing and we will keep pushing for you for more platforms um, to showcase the talent that you have and to showcase the brilliance that Zimbabwe is and to tell our stories. So have a very good evening. Enjoy the show. Thank you very much for being with us and congratulations to you all. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for the Minister of Youth, Sport, Arts and Recreation, Honorable Dr. Kirsty Coventry. Our names are our pride. They set us apart. They bring us together. Our opening act tonight celebrates Mitupoyeru with a cross-section of music genres exclusive to number 21. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bira Goddess, who knows how to hit the right notes, one of the kindest people you'll meet with a sensational gift. Hope Masike, the Nama 20 Outstanding Poet of the Year, Obit Dube, the Mutupo hitmaker himself, Juntal, contemporary dancer, TC, and hip-hop master and internationally recognized ASAP.
Mukura wa ke isi bongo sake. Is bongo zetu isu iti vete sis kacha sis kenye ngabo. Sisi vezu uti singoba na banga pava zaronga na bakala na pibe pila ganjani. Sisenza slonde sa sis chavo zetu sa zane sikrinani. Zia senza tunu buntube tu singa tati chavo zetu singe zikazo. Slonda slondo lo zimbali lemvelo yetu. Is bongo zilu paule tu le sintini. Zisi kumani sala ba pansi siva zisi ba bi gele skopi sani labo. Zia le tu kubamba nugu zana na lugu wisa na ba tu si zana ne. Ubuntu be tu, isintu se tu, imbali e tu, umkondo e tu, ubuza e tu, ikuku e tu, isbongo e tu. Mani boni nyama zana isbongo sami boni sini ni sami. Aye mina, kumani kanga isbongo zana zina ndiga nje. Nisegele la nito zinde zanje mpise bonu ba pe mo fileyo. Zani isbona ni siluani hamba ni kunyela. Zani umta wini, uta uduna, uma kubu fososa, uta meru po ngabe swabe, umta chone shiwa tambo, wohambe pege pansi, owa swela mabala wabige nkosini, ugu ngazi ufana logufa, owa ngazi yoga fundi swe. Halagacha!
Moneriza, ma mama mona. Moneriza, 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 ma mama. I want Moneriza. Clacking mami, clacking mami, my mama clacking. Clacking mami, clacking mami, clacking mami, my mama clacking. Let's get to the mudge. Don't you wanna go to the mudge? She go find the mudge and go. Don't you wanna go to the mudge? Let's get to the mudge. Jema, aka a girl from Harare, Muskana we Muarare, aka aka Jema, ini na Jema. Okay, now we've got introductions out of the way. Let's go over some ground rules for tonight. Nominees, you will have 45 seconds to say a quick thank you and accept your award. Speak into the mic confidently so we can celebrate with you on your big win. Our first category is dance. We honor the men and women that spend countless hours in rehearsals for routines that both entertain us and send a message through dance. Presenting these, help me welcome the man who is no stranger to the microphone, Mayimba the MC, and award-winning actress, you may know her as Aisha Entangled, Natasha Dlamini. What a beautiful, beautiful night, Zimbabwe. A very good evening to each one of you, those watching us from home, and everybody in this magnificent structure. Welcome, Nat Nat Natasha. You look stunning. Indeed, it is such a beautiful night. You know, it's just to look great and give out the award to the best dancers in the land. And what an honor it is to give the first award to an outstanding female. And the first, ladies and gentlemen, outstanding female dancer of 2022. A woman who's mastered the art of dance and the nominees, ladies and gentlemen, are Dance Awards Outstanding Female Dancer Grace Mube in Momzaza the Dunamis Dompeishe Chipendo in Teleunga Leslie Mushaninga in Silently Complicated Outstanding female dancer. And the winner is... The winner is... Ndomu Peishe. Chipendo! Masin, Stirin, Dindin, Dindin, 
Ladies and gentlemen, Domu is not here to receive her award, but mine, Domu, is here to receive on her behalf a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And the next award goes to the Outstanding Male Dancer, and the nominees are... Outstanding Male Dancer. Terence Capesa in A Kid from Blawayo. Sean Mambwere in Silently Complicated. Devante Sangaza in A Champion's Year. Outstanding Male Dancer. I'm gonna do the honors once again. It looks like, uh, it looks like uh, our well-manicured nails. <laughs> We're not able to do this, but Natasha, on your behalf, ladies and gentlemen, the winner, and the Outstanding Male Dancer of the Year 2022, Terence Capesa. Ability extension. Want a million, want a million, want a million. Why, why? Say me want a million, want a million, want a million. Young general. You can't take a good man down. No matter how you try, if you take me down. Still, can I my pet and name on your boat? Much and the feel like in him. Um, first of all, thank you, Lord for this moment. Um, a big shout out to my brothers, Teach, Sean, everyone that I've worked with, the dancers backstage. Um, a big shout out to my fiance, I love you baby. Um, a big shout out to my mom. My mom and my fiance are the biggest fans. Uh, yeah. Thank you for this and Zimbabwe. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. The next category is the Outstanding Dance Group for 2022. The next award is for the Outstanding Dance Production and the nominees are... Outstanding Dance Group. Kaya Arts in Ngomzaza, the Dunamis. Salt and Light in A Kid from Blawayo. Alicia Magna Dance Theatre in The Birth of Christ. Outstanding Dance Group. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, in the Outstanding Dance Group of 2022 is... Alicia Magna Dance Theatre. Good evening, Honourable Minister, and indeed, our respectable guests, thank you so much for giving Alicia Magna. Uh, this award and uh, but this award is not really for Elysia Magna It is for every dancer who is out there who's really doing their best mm -hmm. and trying to break all the barriers that the textbook art has told us This award is really for you more than it is for just the Elysians. We are fortunate because they know us 
they don't know you. Next year, may you be the one standing where we are. All right, all right. Another big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. It needs to be properly planned and executed. The nominees are... Outstanding Dance Choreographer. Future Dube in Ngomzaza the Dunamis. Sean Mambwere in Silently Complicated. Hilary Indy in The Birth of Christ. Outstanding Dance Choreographer. The winner and the Outstanding Dance Choreographer 2022 is Sean Mambwere. thank God because he's the source of all the gifts but at large I want to thank the dance community we do what we do because we love what we do we do what we do because we love what we do so this one is not for me it's for the entire dance community because what we are doing is inspiring a lot of young kids to live the best life that they can through their gifts thank you Our theme tonight is the hashtag Unlocking Dreams. Don't go anywhere. Nama will be right back. Turning 21 often means coming of age. It means maturity. For some, this means getting a key and a night on the town. For an event like Nama, it means so many things to so many people. It has been such a journey. Yeah, so it's been an interesting journey. Just to think of everything that has happened is just amazing, you know, wow. Since 1985, when the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe was established, the aim has always been to foster talent and develop it across the country. Because the arts and culture sectors speak to who we are, there were many facets to cover. When NAMA was inaugurated, we're celebrating works of excellence, innovation and creativity for the year 2001. And this was the inaugural NAMA Trophy. This was the first time artists from across Zimbabwe had their work seen nationally. So I've won five numbers and each and every single one of them holds a special place in my heart. I think it's a testament to the hard work that we put in as dancers, but on a larger, broader scale, the hard work that we put in as creatives. And I think um, the recognition that you get at national level is second to none. With each year, the event has grown in leaps and bounds, bringing excellence in the arts to the foreground. Sleeves have been rolled up and teams put in place to ensure this is a night worthy of the artists it honours. I think the biggest part of the journey was to make the artists understand that the award was much more than... You get artists who talk about what's the prize money, but the, I, I feel like the award is the thing that is the most priceless thing. Um, and it was very important to project that um, you know, ideology so that the artists would know how to exploit this particular award. Uh, for me, I'm very privileged. I've got to direct NAMA, I've got to produce NAMA, I've won a NAMA, I've performed at NAMA, and I've emceed at NAMA. 
Getting a NAMA as an artist means more eyes on your work. Through NAMA, the NACZ has managed to draw the right attention to arts and culture across the country. And as the years have gone by, this reach has grown beyond the country. The recognition is sought after amongst artists and is a sign of respect and honor from peers and industry leaders. With each year, various sectors of the arts have continued to grow, from visual arts to theater, music, film and television, and so many other sectors. And in 2022, NAMA also began to recognize the input of social media content creators. So the NAMA has helped me in so many ways, but one of the specific ways that the NAMAs have helped me is recognition. You know, it's easy to not see the weight of this award when you are in Zimbabwe. But when you go out, when people see that you have been recognized by your own nation in the area of arts and culture, the way that they view that award is through their own lens of how they do their own awards. So it carries weight. The ceremony has gained even more notoriety, not just among artists, but also amongst the general public. Because at the end of the day, we create art for the people. And so NAMA has become an event to mark on calendars. As every February for one night only, the stars come out to play. Nama lays out the longest red carpet in the country, showing up and making our culture and our ways a gorgeous spectacle. That's why we're all here, is obviously to celebrate in the past performances, but also the performances tonight. And so for 21 years, 21 different groups of artists have been awarded for their work, honored and celebrated. We are grateful for making our world brighter with your creativity. Unlocking Dreams is really talking about the milestone that the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe has reached in being able to have a consistent show every year for the last 22 years. This is the 21st edition because we skipped one of the uh, COVID-19 years when we had lockdown and we had a, a special edition called the Legends Edition. So now we're getting into the 21st edition. But still, for the Arts Council, it's a great milestone. And so what we're saying is they're being given the key to life because they're turning 21. They're being given the key to life. And they've decided to use that key to unlock the dreams of artists in this country. And I believe NAMA as a platform, as a, as a performance platform and as an awards platform has been able to unlock a lot of dreams and continues to do that and will unlock even bigger dreams in the future. I also want to take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank the support that we've been getting. Let me celebrate our artists that have continued to subscribe to NAMA, have continued to support NAMA through the entries that they've been doing over the years. NAMA 21 is themed Unlocking Dreams. We are the only possible limitation standing between mere dreams and walking through the door of opportunity to make those dreams a reality. This year, NAMA stands tall after 21 years, beaming with pride of helping unlock dreams. The possibilities are endless and it is up to us to pursue them. NAMA 21, Unlocking Dreams. The 21st NAMA has been made possible through sponsorship from CBZ Holdings, 4 May, Clips and Style Hub, Airports Company of Zimbabwe, Vital Engravers, Ruby Lee, and Faith Fuels. Hashtag Unlocking Dreams. Welcome to the 21st National Arts Merit Awards. Hosted by the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe in conjunction with Jacaranda Culture and Media Corporation. Hashtag Unlocking Dreams. What a night it has been, ladies and gentlemen, so far. I hope you're enjoying the show wherever you are. Are you enjoying the show? Oh, yeah. Well, if you're not here, you are actually missing out a little bit. But you know what? We've got you right here on your uh, television station as you're watching us right here live. Uh, thank you so much. The next category, ladies and gentlemen, we are going straight to the guys that have shown their expertise as far as visual art is concerned. And to present those awards, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, looking all exceptional. 
and extraordinary. Alpha Evans is here together with uh, the vivacious Noxy Sitole from ZFM. Good evening, Zimbabwe. As someone that is always on live television, I'm forced to think about the aesthetic of things. In this category, visual arts, there is nothing more important in this department. And in this category, there's various artists across Zimbabwe who use their art to speak volumes using pictures, words, and their hands to create memorable art pieces. And the first award is for outstanding three-dimensional works. And the nominees are... Visual Arts Awards. Outstanding three-dimensional work. Working together by... Tanyanyua Bernard Sakarombe. Celebrating together by Taurai Chinofura. Life is a Journey by Charles Manyaura. Reflection by Strive Matimura. Outstanding three dimensional work. And the winner is Celebrating Together by Taurai Chinofura. Excited. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I want to thank uh, National Arts Council of Zimbabwe for this opportunity and everyone here uh, for celebrating with me and also for celebrating with, together. Thank you very much. Well, who doesn't like a good shaking up of things? <laughs> Say! In our next category, artists put together different types of media in mixed media to create something beautiful. It's like putting together the right outfit and the nominees for mixed media are... Outstanding Mixed Media. Looking Behind the Pot by Keith Zenda. Mysterical Revealer by Terence Msekiwa. A Long Way To by Justin Gobe. Outstanding Mixed Media. And the winner is... Mysterical Revealer by Terence Musekiwa. So I'm grateful to hear that he has got this opportunity. So I say thank you to all of you young artists. I, I've groomed youngsters from a long way. My name is Kenneth. Woo! Thank you very much. And what's the point of having great art if you have no place to show off, show off or knowing how to do this? The next award goes to the artist who had an outstanding exhibition. And the nominees are... Outstanding Exhibition. Bold and Beautiful by Keith Zender. Curated by Philip Butler and Keith Zender. A book that cannot be read by Alison Baker. Curated by Fadzai Muchemwa. Roots and Roots by Tamari and Natasha Kudita. Curated by Doreen Sibanda. Outstanding exhibition. And the winner in this category is... 
a book that cannot be read, curated by Fadzai Muchemwa. I'm honored to accept this award on behalf of Fadai. She could not be here. And so, as the winner that she is, she had sent through her speech in case she won. So here we go. She's pleased and honored to accept the award for the outstanding exhibition, A Book That Cannot Be Read, a solo exhibition of artworks by Alison Becker. And to join past recipients I've long admired and respected. Thank you to the NAMA board and the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe for this recognition. I sincerely thank Alison Becker for trusting me with her work and to the National Gallery of Zimbabwe family who made all the work possible and curatorial work a joy. And of course, thank you to my friends and family for always supporting me. Thank you. Tonight is made possible through the support of Old Mutual, Zimoko, Cabs, Airports Company of Zimbabwe, Zaguja, Air Zimbabwe, ZFM Stereo, Dariro Mode, Wild Africa Travel, Flash Delivery Freight, Ginger Apple Group, Dooley's, and Maveneka for her. Our next performer has been making hits for years now, and in 2020, he was an outstanding newcomer at NAMA 19, also scooping the award for outstanding song for his hit, Kure. Performing with our co mc tonight, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Aishan and Gemma.
pure little dimple It's thing that you do with your face What they miss my eyes I win Do you mind if we can dance? We can dance till the sun comes out Like the morning star Me, 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 way, ha See me, we don't know, ha So let bound it And we really don't give a word See who they say, ha See me, mo, ha Ladies and gentlemen, give another round of applause for Gemma and Aisha. And now let's take a look at the next category, which is spoken word. Let's take a look at those who have done well in delivering their words. Nyanri Zemashoko to present these awards. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome veteran thespian and founder of Jason Pepo Little Theater, the man himself, Jason Pepo, accompanied by the radio personality and gospel great queen, Yvonne Tivachke. Indeed, using our voice is one of the best ways of staying true to ourselves and projecting the true Zimbabwean story. And this category, the spoken word, honors those that use their voices well. No one loves words like we do as thespians. And so the category that we're going to be presenting tonight is for outstanding poet. And the nominees are... Spoken Word Awards. Outstanding Poet Stembile Siposa Obed Dube Prince Ryan Chitondo Ngonizashe Paraza, aka Mambo Guramatuno Outstanding Poet And the winner is Obed Dube
Um, first, I would like to thank God who gave me this good talent. Secondly, I'd like to dedicate this award to my late mother who raised me as a widow. Unfortunately, she died when I was not even a poet. But I still owe her a lot on what she told me when I was a kid. May I thank as well my manager. He's here with us here. Yeah. He has done a lot with me. May I also not hide this. I wanted to quit. My manager joins me on the stage. I wanted to quit poetry three years back, but Jay's Maravini told me not to quit and said, soldier on, fight, you are going to make it and I've made it. As a proud Zimbabwean, I've represented Zimbabwe on different countries and I'm proud of being Zimbabwean. May I take this opportunity to thank all artists who worked with me in this album, Mbonge Imuliagiti, Elupani, Imuliagiti, Agon Dagasala, Bonga Bantu Bonke Bagoma Pechu, Umame Kaya, Besangiti Bagiti Mina, Ningo Ope to Awot to Wun Tembos Temba, you could up at Wagon Dagasta, Mangula and Kakum to Makamum Sansum Shawatandra in Kos, Puma Pan, Salupala Stobal and Bizet and Danda Wotonka, Tipu Tipamata, Tamatuna, Wananda, Spezia, Chiama Panga, was over to Sipesa Kintu, Gomchasa, Fisti Samakasi, Kofugan Fulan, and Sincha, Halagata, Haba. Yeah. Um, you've won. Yeah. The next award that you are going to be presenting now. They no 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 let us honor the nominees for the Outstanding Comedian. Outstanding Comedian. Mukudzei Kandoro Majoni, a.k.a. King Kandoro. Andrew Manika. Tanyara Zwa Sena. Outstanding Comedian. And the funniest man in the building is Mukudzai Kandoro Majoni. Africa. I want to say uh, I want to say thank you to the National Arts Council. I want to say thank you to my family. I want to say thank you to my wife. Uh, I want to say thank you to my sisters, to my mom. This is an award that I've wanted for a very long time, ever since I started comedy. So thank you. Uh, I also want to thank the permanent secretary, uh, Nick Mangwana. My career wouldn't be here without you. So <laughs> thank you. My career also would not be without, here without you, sir. <laughs> we can also all agree um, that the way we consume our content uh, has evolved over the past 21 years. Social media now plays a big role in our society. And this category of awards for the outstanding social media skills. And the nominees are... Outstanding social media skits. Admire Mushambi, aka Mama V. Kudzai Chengeza, aka Mbuyava Piasoni. Theophilus Chigumira, aka Mai Kirifoti. Outstanding social. Asima onera be paire. 
Ndi Jason mpepo. Asi maone ra ire. Mapiri ra kai mimi. And the winner is Amai Kirifodi. His name is Theophilus Chikumira. Wow, um, thank you guys. Um, this is so amazing. Um, first of all, I would like to thank the Lord for the talent he gave me. Um, if, he, if it wasn't for the Lord, I'll be here. I want to thank my followers. Thank you for following me. Thank you for supporting me. I would like to thank my, my family, especially my sisters, for the dresses and the wigs. Uh, thank you very much. My other sister is sitting right there. Dress Next week, Thank you very much. Um, I would also love um, to thank Nama. Thank you for recognizing us. This means a lot to us. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Trendsetting Nama. Hopping right on to the next category, the Media Awards. The people who get the word out there. Remember that one kid in school who always had all the tea and the saucy details? The one who found a way to get the word out? Well, that kid grew up and finessed their skill. The next category is made up of individuals who are great at getting the word out. Presenting the Media Awards category, please welcome a renowned voice and journalist in the business and financial world, ZTN Prime's Andy Hodges, accompanied by former Miss Zimbabwe and budding film director, Malaika Mushandu. Good evening, Zimbabwe. The whole night I've just heard all about these beautiful people. No, we're not beautiful. We're exceptional. Wherever you are in the world, wherever you are in Zimbabwe, you know what? They're exceptional, Malika. Exceptional indeed. And we have been celebrating 21 years of exceptional performance within the arts industry. In fact, if you remember the song, celebrate good times. <laughs> Come, on. Come on. 21 years. <laughs> So, Andy, let's move on to the media category. The first award in the media category is for Outstanding Journalist in Print. And the nominees for Outstanding Journalist are... Media Awards. Outstanding Journalist, Print. Kumbulani Mleya, The Standard. Nyadzombe Nyampenza, Newsday. Tafatswa Zimoyo. The Herald. Outstanding journalist, print. And the winner is Nyadzombe Nyampeza, Newsday. Sorry, 
Silence Mchemwa, thank you for your guidance and helping me find my way into the print media. Winston Antonio, thank you for accepting my pitch and uh, correcting my drafts. To institutions that um, host visual arts, thank you to Artillery Gallery, First Floor Gallery, National Gallery Harare, Solange and the Whalers Studio in Chitungwiza, Animal Farm Artist Residency at Harare and Village Uno. Thank you, Nama, for recognizing us. Thank you. Andy, do you love radio? Oh, wow, I love radio. With a voice like this, who can't love radio? Shall, we go into, <laughs> shall I join you in radio? <laughs> Please. So our next category is radio. Radio has an amazing reach and continues to be a favorite amongst many Zimbabweans. So it is imperative that we make sure that the right message is being sent across. And the nominees for Outstanding Journalist in Radio are... Outstanding Journalist Radio. Owen Madondo, Star FM. Anesu Masamvu, CFM. Yvonne Tibachke, Star FM. Outstanding Journalist Radio. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, do you want to know the winner or can we just go now? <laughs> The winner is... Drum roll, please. Owen Madondo. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I'm super excited. This is my first award ever. Uh, beginning of 2021, uh, 2022, I said to myself, this year, 2022, I want to work very hard. I am going to win the NAMA nominee, the NAMA award, and many others as well. And I'm glad that I've uh, achieved it. Finally, I am holding this uh, NAMA award for the first time. So I want to say thank you to Star FM Management, Mr. Mbofana, Steve Vickers, Yvonne, I see you there. I want to say, Thank you to my Afterdrive team. That's uh, Nyenge Terai Dingana, the producer, and my Lord Five, Mushunje. So what we simply did is, on the spot, oh, on the spot. <laughs> so tonight I'm not going to put anyone on the spot. I'm actually the one on the spot. Ndrugun Zokfara, guys, honestly. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so happy. I'm super excited. So I am going to dedicate this award to my grandmother who raised me since I was nine months till now. So I know Gogo is watching at home. This is for you. Thank you. Oh, and my to everyone, round of applause. <laughs> now, I must say the next award I was, I am conflicted because the nominees, one of them I work with currently, another one I did work with, and the third is just excellent. All three of them are just excellent nominees for this category. And of course, the category is Outstanding Journalist Television. And the nominees are... Outstanding Journalist Television. Candice Mwakalielie, ZTN. Colette Msanyera, ZBC. 
Dr. Kuzwa Chihambakwe, ZTN. Outstanding journalist, television. And the winner is Colette Musanera, ZBC. Please, a round of applause. Okay. Um, many thanks to Nama for coming up with this initiative which recognizes our local creatives. I'm so elated to be one of the recipients of this uh, prestigious award. I would, I would also like to thank my family. They are my biggest cheerleaders. Also, the ZBC family, my friends. Uh, my friends, I'd like to thank you so much for the support. And to the artists who always cooperate with me for me to come up with a well-balanced and, and good narratives. Thank you very much, artists. This is for us all. Thank you. Wow, what worthy award winners and what worthy nominees, Malika. Indeed. Now then, we can all agree the internet. We all know about the internet, yeah? We hear everything from the internet. We get our information, our news, in fact, sometimes we start our day with the internet. And of course, the nominees for Outstanding Online Media are... Outstanding Online Media. Nash TV. Bus Stop TV. Airground. Outstanding Online Media. <laughs> oh, wow. These, these awards are serious, Marika. It is a very tough competition. <laughs> The winner is Nash TV. Kila T, I know your foe. Nyazo Chega, Oti Property, Dakato Motanga, Dijita Ura Chopa, Dini Punya Pandai Tochka, Naito Vam Chendeki, Niaziro Rudo, Raito Dabuni Pango Tai. Wow. Um, God is the greatest. Um, I would like to thank um, everyone. I would like to thank all the artists uh, we have worked with. So I want to dedicate this special award to, to the artists that we have worked with. And uh, special thanks to our chairman, Tinashe M. Tarisi, for all the support that he has shown us. Thank you. Well, that's it for us. Have a great show, because you can see it's a great show tonight. It is. Have see a you good later. <laughs> Our theme tonight is the hashtag unlocking dreams. Don't go anywhere. Nama will be right back. Young boy, young boy with the big dreams. Young girl, young girl, but for I see. Give me an opportunity, I show you possibilities beyond your wildest imaginings. Zero to Zatina Zoo, Ira Zawira, Kazirika 
Nama has been made possible through sponsorship from Old Mutual, Cabs, Air Zimbabwe, Zargasia, Braid and Weave Nation, T Nash Photography, and ZFM Stereo. Hashtag Unlocking Dreams. Welcome to the 21st National Arts Merit Awards. Hosted by the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe in conjunction with Jacaranda Culture and Media Corporation. Hashtag Unlocking Dreams. So guys, this evening has been absolutely amazing so far. And you know, the idea of having to be part of the crowd feels very differently right now. And I'm sitting here with uh, one of the finest broadcasters that I've seen in my life, Soko Stina. How are you doing, Soko? I'm good, Chip. How are you doing? I'm doing really, really good. And of course, right next to me here, is Mona Lisa Dube, the programs manager at ZFM. How are you, uh, the beautiful one? How are you doing? Hi, Chief Koti. How's the show so far? And uh, what can you tell the viewers at home who are missing out on this uh, action? I think the experience that they're having at home is just half of what we're experiencing here. Half of what you, you are experiencing here, guys. We are absolutely having lots of fun and people are moving around and doing all sorts of things and enjoying themselves. So, you know what, guys? On the next category, I'm going to ask Shalin uh, to give us uh, that next category and tell us what's happening. But you know what? Keep uh, locked here on uh, the NAMA. We are unlocking the dreams. Shalin? Rafui. Tonight, we celebrate Zimbabwean art and what it means to unlock dreams. Presenting the Theatre Awards is an arts personality and creative mentor who successfully hosts international artists, including Akon, Brick and Lace, Kelly Kumalo, P Square, and Kofi Olomide. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the elegant Miss Mandy Mbukwe, alongside the legendary actor, award-winning filmmaker, Eddie Sandifolo. Good evening, Zim Good evening, Zimbabwe. Happy 21st Nama. What a, beauty, what a beautiful thing it is to come out there, to be in the presence of brilliant minds. Tonight, we've got an honor to present an 
an award to the outstanding actor or actress in the theater production. Eddie. Many, I must say, you're looking stunning in that electronic dress. <laughs> um, good evening, Zimbabwe. Theater is a conversation starter. It's a conversation starter for so many issues we face in reality, in our lives, in everyday thing. But when it's done well, it can foster change and create new ways, new ways to make us better people, better thinkers. Thank you. <laughs> the first award goes to an actor who takes on the stage and owns it with fierce resolve. The nominees for the outstanding actor are Theatre Awards. Outstanding actor. Sean Mundawarara as Colimo in the play that goes wrong. Musa Saruro as Charles in the play that goes wrong. Ishmael Mubingi as King Lopengula in the Valle Tenkosi. Outstanding actor. And the winner is. No, it's not him. Actually, the winner is Sean Mundawarara. Wow. <laughs> um, I, I really didn't expect that. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much to the Namas. Um, if I am to thank every single person who's gotten me here, we'll be here all night. So I'm just going to say thank you to everybody who's in my corner. I hear you. I see you. Thank you so much. You all know who you are. Um, my sister Nombi will be upset if I don't Thank her by name. She's probably watching right now. So thank you, Nombi. Uh, my dad, my biggest fan. All of you guys, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the nominees for Outstanding Theatre Actress are... Outstanding Actress. Caroline Yule as Mrs. Perkins in The Play That Goes Wrong. Minen Lenguni as Renee Stokes in Heartbreak Mafia. Sandra Mpofu as Maimbo Day in Maimbo Day. Outstanding Actress. And the winner is Nguni. Nguni. Ndaiwe Muranda za Josepha Jehova wandita mambo ndochengetwa nizotsu mari wangu mune ngone Ndaiwe Muranda za Josepha Jehova wandita mambo ndochengetwa nizotsu mari wangu mune ngone amana kuwa zaide I'm I'm going to try and keep this quick um, I first of all want to thank my mom who couldn't be here tonight. I'm going to do my best to talk quickly because I promised her I wouldn't cry. Um, I want to thank my sister who came with me. I want to thank um, Ane Unuguatizo. Thank you so much for trusting me with this project. I want to thank the cast and crew of Heartbreak Mafia. Guys, we did it! Um, and I want to thank my high school drama teacher, Mrs. Leggett because without her, I wouldn't be here. And I want to thank my grandmothers who are watching me from heaven. Thank you so much to the National Arts Council. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. It's amazing tonight. Yeah, it is. Great theatre is, is about challenging ourselves and allowing us to think out of the box, allow us to be the best in what we do, allow us to
create a fantasy of our own world. And the nominees for Outstanding Theatrical Production are... Outstanding Theatrical Production. Heartbreak Mafia by Reps Theatre. The Play That Goes Wrong by Reps Theatre. Bayet and Osi by Umkati Theatre. Outstanding Theatrical Production. And the winner is Bayete Ngosi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good evening, Zimbabwe. Thank you for the Nama. Uh, we would like to thank our friend Nkosi Konandovu for the concept, uh, Tavani Hilari Moyo for the script, and the cast for all the dedication. Siabonga Kakulu, Tinabom Kat. Thank you so much. Outstanding director. Meaningful theatre doesn't just happen. Every ship needs a captain. The nominees for Outstanding Theatre Director are... Outstanding Director. Matesu Dube in Bayet Nkosi. Ane Unu Guatito in Heartbreak Mafia. Sue Bolt in The Play That Goes Wrong. Outstanding Director. The Outstanding Director is Sue Bolt. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you to an outstanding team that I have and work with at Reps. Lots of them down there and over there. Thank you to the people who come and support us at the theatre. As an amateur society, we are inordinately grateful for people who come and see our shows. We do it all for love, and I am absolutely thrilled to accept this for our theater that we do because we love it so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> And that's it for the theatre category. Tonight has also been made possible by Glitz and Style Hub, Braid and Weave Nation, 4 May, T Nash Photography, Med Orange Pharmacies, Click and Pay, Ngoda TV, Scarlet Studio, Faith Fuels, Ruby Lynn Makeup Artistry, Minister of White Linen, Butterfly Couture, Glitz and Style Hub, Mr. and Mrs. Sandberg, Garway Restaurant, Black Shark, and Beyond Excellence. Remember to vote for your favorite to win the People's Choice Award tonight. Voting has been open. You can cast your vote online by simply visiting Click and Pay. Coming up next is one of Zimbabwe's gospel treasures. His music sends crowds bursting into melodious tunes as he sings messages that resonate with many. The Ma Tables and Favor Hitmaker. Matthias Mary. Pane varikufara ere. Chimbari za muruti nze. Uzarba tuzo nondi pospes. Ndona kupofara. Yes, 
Wow, the room is electrifying tonight. What a performance from Matthias Meri. Moving along, when was the last time you picked up a book and just read a page? I'm sure we can all agree it opens the imagination. I remember as a child the excitement of learning to read and how it would transport me to another world. Well, if you're like me, then you'll love the next category, which celebrates the literary arts. To present these awards, let's welcome published author, media personality with NRTV, and the Queen Kong herself, Sokostina, and Radio Beast ZFM station manager, Danny That Guy. I'd like to start by congratulating Danny. He recently got married. And he is also a published author because he had to write his vows. And had to sign the marriage certificate. <laughs> and you know what, Danny? When you write something down, it is immortalized at that moment, in that thought, and it's an emotion that lasts forever. And a good writer knows how to harness and capture all these and transport readers to different nations. Spoken like a true author. As mentioned, so Costina herself is a published author. You must check out her book. But we are celebrating the writers at the moment. So we want to get into our first award, which is for first creative published work. And the nominees are... Literary Awards. Outstanding first creative published work. The Madman on First Street and Other Stories by David Chasumba. 3.15 a.m. and other stories by Rudo D.M. Manyere. Monomotapa by Tawanda Vombo. Outstanding first creative published work. And the outstanding first creative published work goes to The Mad, the Mad Man on First Street and other stories by David Cha, Chamumba. Chasumba. Round of applause. So David Chasumba could not be here to accept his award, so he has sent his representatives one more time, ladies and gentlemen, for David Chasumba. For the next award, it's for the writers who do help our munchkins to be educated. They keep them captivated and intrigued by the world around them. And they do this through the pages. And for those of you who are not reading, try a children's book maybe. The nominees are... Outstanding children's book. When the Sun Sets by Ngobi Malinga. Let's enjoy village tales with the Mbuya Madishi by Valentine N. Nyagweta. Sloba and the Chameleon Air by Costa Chayambuka. Outstanding children's book. And the winner for Outstanding Children's Book is Sloba and the Chameleon Air by Costa Chayambuka. Thank you, Zimbabwe, for this opportunity. First, I would like to thank God. He came back for me when the enemy thought I was done away with. And also, I would like to thank the guys that helped me to put up this week. Uh, and Roman does the illustrator, Tungai Sox, the publisher. I thank you. And all the people all over this world who, have, who managed to get a slopper copy, I thank you. This is your award. <laughs> Quick points. I have to tell you this. 
the response we got from the people who, have, who got this book was impressive. So our target this year is to produce one million hard copies for children all over the world before the end of this year. <laughs> Point number two, right now as I'm, telling, I'm talking to you, I've left guys at work in the studio making a 2D animated version of this book because I want to align with my audience twice as fast. Just like how the Americans have got Mickey Mouse and the Japanese have got Dragon Balls, Zimbabwe is going to have, is going to have slow bar. Thank you. You know, many times we focus on the serious parts of life, but what is life without the spice, without the excitement? Fiction works bring out that inner child inside us. Fiction works make us believe and dream about worlds that might not even exist, or ourselves in worlds that do exist. So really, it's exciting to look at who the best fiction authors in Zimbabwe are. And the nominees for our standing fiction book are Outstanding Fiction Book The Quality of Mercy by Spiwe Gloria Nzovo Intuasa Short Stories Volume 2 Edited by Raisden Baya Chapwati by Ignatius C. Musonza Outstanding Fiction Book And the winner of Outstanding Fiction Book goes to the Quality of Mercy by Spiwe Gloria and Lovu. to be present uh, here today. She has to attend to uh, a gravely ill uh, relative. However, she asked me to thank a few people if she won the award, and she did. She'd like to thank the National Council for Zimbabwe and the NAMA Awards Committee for the nomination, her publisher, Penguin Random House in South Africa, her loving family, starting with her mother, Sarah and Lovu, her grandparents, the great late uh, Reverend uh, Charles Ndlovu and Keravil Ndlovu, her uncles, aunts and family, and the village that raised her. Thank you very much. Spiwe, well done. Writer. Sema Taurira Ndambwe, Takuti Deni Akarora. Pakarora Akabara, poet. Apana chinonaka semazwi akanyorwa erudo emafaro se aya anonyorwa nenyanzi dzemazwi This category is for the word smiths that make words sound like music Danny And the nominees for outstanding poet are Outstanding poetry book Starfish Blossoms by Samantha R. Vajure. Ikribi Lezinkonjo by Obert Dube. I Know Why the Heart Sings by Patience Chiangwa. Outstanding Poetry Book. For this one, can I ask you to applaud like this? The winner for Outstanding Poetry Book goes to... Starfish Blossoms by Samantha Bajure.
my God, I don't believe this. Um, uh, first, I would like to um, thank my creator, Musigavani, whose creative energy flows through me. Um, I would like to thank uh, all the creatives who worked with me to um, make this book outstanding. Uh, Tari Rondoro, Zikamai Chando, Daniel Mutendi, Marianne Christie, and Joanna Swan. Thank you so much. I don't think I would be here without your input. So um, thank you. I would like to thank my husband and kids watching from Wales. Uh, I would like to thank the rest of my family watching from all over the world. Um, and um, to the women whose voices sing in my poems, this is for you. Read a book, open your mind, unlock your dreams. Thank you, Nama. Thank you, Nama. Our theme tonight is the hashtag unlocking dreams. Don't go anywhere. Nama will be right back. What is the plan? Killing the game, winning awards, selling records. One, two, three, NAMA award winning actor. And action. My Zimbabwean foundation gave me the, the passion and the inspiration to want to pursue and want to achieve. Gave me the foundations and the tools to make that happen. It starts with the grassroots of the desire. And I think seeing, you know, our forefathers, you know, I would say the forefathers, you know, the late Walton Parusa, Dave Guja, you know, the Nakai Matemas who molded me and, you know, watching them and how they pers persevered in this industry, you know, the time and gave us opportunities, um, you know, just, just taught us how to be more tenacious and going for what's ours. Mm. Good evening. Hey, how are you? Good evening. Um, you know, I know you haven't lived in New York City that long, but you, you don't need to be nice to strangers. I think the, the, the greatest lesson that I've, I've, I've learned in this, in this time that I've been away from home is uh, I found myself more than I did finding work. And what I mean by that is that, you know, uh, acting, it's like you're, you're living a life within a life. Mm. You know, there's highs and lows, uh, goodness, uh, uh, bad moments, yeah. um, and it's almost like art is imitating life. Um, and so I think the greatest thing that I found was trying to find a place where I was constantly present, because you know, far too often as actors we tend to live in the foreseeable future of like, oh, I can't wait until I get that job or this, and you're neglecting what's currently right in front of you now. The, the ability to believe, mm. um, the ability to, to know that your countrymen see something in you, um, gives you that, that, that desire to say, you know what, I can be, I can do, and therefore I shall. Mm. Um, and it doesn't matter where you are, because I think the foundation of Zimbabwe, the Nama Awards, you know, now I've got three, <laughs> you know, um, is, is, is extremely humbling. But to know that every time I go back to LA or America or wherever in, the, wherever in the world I'm filming, I have a nation, you know, that's like 
That's one of us. And I just want to wish every single nominee tonight the best of luck. The 21st NAMA has been made possible through sponsorship from Tariro Mode, Butterfly Couture, Mid Orange Pharmacies, Afrodroid Media, Mavenica for Her, Scarlet Productions, and Wild Africa Travel. Hashtag Unlocking Dreams. Welcome to the 21st National Arts Merit Awards, hosted by the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe, in conjunction with Jacaranda Culture and Media Corporation. Hashtag Unlocking Dreams. Well, we are live here on the numbers, the 21st edition. We are unlocking dreams indeed. And of course, thank you so much for staying with us at home there. I hope you're enjoying yourself. But guys, who remembers Gringo? Amakorokoza. Eh? Imwenzichi, Muchaneta. Imwenzichi. Huh? Huh? Tiriparwendo. So guys, the next category is all about film and television. And to present this award, guys, I have for you the youngest ZFM programs manager, Miss Mona Lisa Duve, together with Bulawayo's uh, finest, Umfana Oshayayo. We have Kunsa, ASEF, ladies and gentlemen, ASEF and Mona Lisa. Film and television in Zimbabwe has evolved over the past decades, from watching Paraffin on ZBC to experiencing the first ever Debele Sci-Fi, The Signal. All across Zimbabwe, filmmakers have been creating more content than ever before. From Mutare to my hometown, Gobulawayo, Nekumashui Netara. The first award under the film and television category is an outstanding actor. Here are the nominees. Film and television awards. Outstanding actor. Search Mo Takavada as husband in three days in March. Sean Mundawarara as Jay in Just Say Hello. Farai Chigudu as Toro in Ngoda. Outstanding actor. And the number goes to Sechmo Takavada as husband. And in a Chekuta or a Maita Basa. We like a man who gets straight to the points. <laughs> so for our next category, uh, for Outstanding Actress, the nominees are... Outstanding Actress, Charity Mahoa Matabo as Tete Roda in Viva Venera. Sylvia Mavezere as wife in Three Days in March. Chiedza Mende as Sonia in Just Say Hello. Outstanding actress. And the number goes to Sylvia Mavesere as wife. 
The next award under the film and television category is an outstanding music video. Now music videos have grown from being just accompanying a song to being a great art of work. Now Asaf, you would know what it takes to make a great video. Trust me, it's no walk in the park. Shooting a music video takes serious work. And the nominees are... Outstanding music video. Changes in Time, Mvuraya Naya, by Evicted, directed by Vusa Sachwayo. Kamoto, by Mwenje Matole, directed by Jonathan Zamkange. Fight For Me, by Man Friday, directed by Kalai Faye Barlow. We are Tindamate by Gemma Griffiths, featuring Enzo Eichel, directed by Kyle Brown. Outstanding music video. And the outstanding music video, Fight For Me, directed by Kalai Fayavalo. Say the lights on the show can you see from here? And they say if the storm and the lights you can see it clear. And they see me covered and fair in the sky and cloud. And the ship is a wash on the Good evening. Thank you. Um Fight for me is about perseverance and resilience, and I'm sure that most Zimbabweans know what it means to truly persevere. There are five incredible young actors sitting up in the stage tonight who are so deserving of this award. And to them, I just wanted to say, fight for your dreams, no matter what, even if it feels sometimes like the odds are against you, even if everything around you is broken, pick up the pieces and make art. <laughs> Thank you. Um, to our incredible crew, you all know who you are. Um, it's an honor to work alongside you. Man Friday, thank you for the music. Thank you for trusting us with your vision. <laughs> thank you for giving us the opportunity to grow in our craft. And Nama, thank you for the recognition. Another round of applause for ASAF and Mona Lisa Dube. The best things come in twos, yeah? To present the second round of film and TV awards, please welcome two men who will help you get in the presence and get personal with God through their music and through their worship. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Balami and Everton Mlalazi.
Good evening. Good evening. Maner Salbonan. Um, apana chini chini na kiza. Seko ona show ya uno farira pa TV. And it's amazing when it's in a language ya uno taura mazoeese. The next award, de ma TV show emuna mizimbabu. And none of that would have been possible. Albasa singela abas lumisela ama filmmakers. Abasenza sbone sile molize tusikoli sesenda onyo. And the nominees are Outstanding Screen Production Television Intave Nkulu Directed by Kula Brian Mwititi Viva Wenera Directed by Edin Zovu. Tangled, directed by Shem Zemura. Outstanding screen production, television. Ah. Are you gonna drum roll? And the winner is Intabe Cool. Nanyepai. <laughs> And the peri power, power. Blessed is the man. Been through the fire, fire. Been through a lot. And the peri power, power. I emerge. Keep going higher, higher. To extinction. No obstacle could have come, get me done. Pandava could have looked up how we go. Higher is the only road. One I couldn't live. Live. No obstacle could have come, get me done. Pandava couldn't teach you quit on my combo. Higher is the only road. One I couldn't live. Dengue de chingo a baya baya Nene manu wana paya baya Ah, and you pay Woo! My way! Ah, takachi master chike yo michi Right, um, I've been waiting for a very long time to say these words So allow me First and foremost, to thank my beautiful wife. Kechipiri, ndi buminze okute nda mkazi wangu shakare. To the cast and crew, even the hardest of rocks, you to those that do with determination. We can do it. We did it. Ndeche luchi nuichi. Thank you, Nama! Well, 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 that was nice. Sometimes less words say more. And the nominees in this category prove that. The nominees for Outstanding Screen Production Short Film are... Outstanding Screen Production Short Length Film Three Days in March, directed by Kuda Brian Buititi. Conflict, directed by Sydney Taivavashe. A Stitch in Time, directed by William Yanduro and Raised in Baya. Outstanding screen production, short length film. And the winner is Three Days in March, directed by Kuda Brian Uititi. Shalinga family, kuna bili, chimombe no mudarate, agripa nengo, ah, chif, mungwende, ndi me mono wa, jondi gande rowe mandu, bao je moto no tingandu, ngadu na mega men, and this is we a boya mami, you know this about my bachi mami, jiga ba uti ndaka piga, neku tini nema gets, ahole bine jes, dimita, energy, if you know gana no calculator, this is a lot, but kazi no undu fita, endo kazi papa mango ma enido. Speech tapa kudara. Shout out to Daddy Rasta! Now, uh, let's take a look at full length films. And the nominees for outstanding screen production full length film are. 
Outstanding screen production, full-length film. Ngoda, directed by Joe Njagu and Eddie Sandifolo. Just Say Hello, directed by Denise Edwards. Benignity, directed by Tinashe Mombeshora. Outstanding screen production, full-length film. It's taking longer than I thought. Drum roll, please. <laughs> And the winner is, are you rigging? Ngoda, directed by Joe Jagu and Eddie Sandifolo. Yeah. Uh, so when I left home this morning, my son was like, if you win and you're going to be on TV, just shout my name so that my name is on TV. So Shonil! Yes. Eddie. So this is for like a bunch of creatives who came together to try and make a film in the hopes of creating a vibrant commercial film industry. So this is for creating a big film industry in Zimbabwe. I just want to say God is incredible. Thank you. Music is the one thing that we can all agree on. If it's good, it's good. There's no arguing. Whilst one man's meat may be another man's poison, bottom line is it feeds the soul, it gives the soundtrack to life. Whether your feet dance to the rhythm of Msewe, Imbatanga, hip hop or trap, there has to be something that gets you going. Presenting the Nama 21 Music Awards, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the director of the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe, Mr. Nicholas Moyo, and by the vivacious TV producer and presenter, Itai Mutiniri. It's a good evening to you all, and thank you for supporting NAMA. Let me take this opportunity to thank our minister and the Ministry of Youth, Sport, Arts and Recreation for continuing to support National Arts Council of Zimbabwe and supporting NAMA. Let me acknowledge also and thank the board of the National Arts Council for taking the leadership and driving to ensure that the programs and projects of the National Arts Council remain on the top. Thank you so much. Indeed, it is a huge thank you to the ministry. Now, it is exciting how the Zimbabwean music industry has grown in the past years. I mean, I feel like it is now time for them to showcase who they are to the world out there through their unique sounds. And now, presenting to you the outstanding newcomer, outstanding newcoming award, the nominees are. M Music Awards. Outstanding newcomer. Leo Magos. Bling 4 and Brian Jack. Tawanda Mavambo, a.k.a. Saint Flo. Andrea Sibanda, a.k.a. Andrea the Vocalist. Outstanding newcomer.
Who do you think it is? <laughs> and the winner is Leo Magombe. There, Leo Magos for right. <laughs> Ichichisimbe, ichichisimbe, mandi kuma mandi pachi chambe, chandi na kanda zoho nandango. Fire emojis. Thank you so much, people. And in our show, we can explain the joy that I have right now. Thank you so much, Zimbabwe. Thank you so much, Zimbabwe. Thank you so much, Nama. Thank you so much, everyone who's been supporting me from day one. Munuese, Anoti Fai Moji, Anoti Leo Chizimbe, Anoti Leo Angachu. Chizimbe, 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 Chizimbe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nama. Ah. Drukuri Ronu Taura. Shout out to Dreadlock Master. Shout out to Leo V. Shout out to 053. Shout out to everyone who has been supporting the movement. Shout out to everyone who supports Leo Magos. Thank you so much to my fans. Thank you so much to my mom. And most importantly, thank you so much to God for this grace and this talent. It's real on base. We are looking forward to the Buddhist way. Do not end some more further. Thank you so much to my team. Wow. Wow, amazing. Wow. <laughs> now the next award goes to a woman. Looks like it's still Thank Leo's you. time. Thank you so much. Now the next award goes to a woman who has spent the last year perfecting her nose and obviously getting known beyond the borders. In the Outstanding Female Musician, the nominees are... Outstanding Female Musician, Felistas Chipendo, AKA Felinandi, Brokers Moyo, Sandra Ndebele. Outstanding female musician. Murguda Ani. And the winner goes to Dokas Moyo. <laughs> This 
Babanda can't vanish in you. Mesongua kuonai, munoita minana, muno pindura minamato, munoita minana, muno pindura minamato. Right. Um, thank you so much. Uncountable times we tried and uncountable times we missed. But we never gave up and today we celebrate this Nama. Thank you Nama. Thank you Zimbabwe. God bless you all. Thank you very much. That's what Nama does at times. Ladies and gentlemen, let us move on to the next award, the Outstanding Male Musician for Nama 21st edition. And the nominees are... Outstanding Male Musician, Mark Ngwazi, Braveman Chizino Mawanza, AKA Baba Harare, M.A.G. Chizanga, a.k.a. Freeman. Outstanding male musician. And, and, <laughs> I think they the know winner, who the winner is. The winner is M.A.G. Chizanga, a.k.a. Freeman! Let's do it! Yeah. <laughs> All right. I would like to thank God for giving me this talent, right? Nama for the recognition. Right? Honestly speaking, I don't know what to say. Ma Maganins wana ma paye pandagati. Ni pei maruvanda gona ni pei o ni pei o kananda eja shakanaka. Thanks so much, everybody. I love you. More love. Wow. Amazing. Congratulations to Dogotera. Yes. yes. <laughs> now, now that Tesiwazi, what it takes to come up with a perfect meal, let us look at the menu. First of all, a hit song. Hi, coming up with a hit song. Hi, it's amazing. But an entire album, I tell you, that is genius. It takes a certain level yeah. of excellence. Kumele, Sibone, Uti album, Epewegase, Epegileo, Nenjan. And the nominees are for the outstanding album. Outstanding album. 
Zimbabwean giant by brave man Chizino Mawanza, a.k.a. Baba Harare. David and Goliath by Emeji Chizanda, a.k.a. Freeman. Naro Nezine Naro by Mark Ngwazi. Outstanding album. Who's it gonna be? Yep. David and Goliath by Emmy Chizanga, aka Freeman. 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 <laughs> So this is my first time to win Nama Awards. I have two. I have two. Okay. Young lady, I'm an HKD, my fans are going And this one, I want to get it to my wife, right? Well, what is it? Sometimes, I have a question, but I don't know if you're a I can even write songs around 2 a.m., 3 a.m., whatever side, right? And she allows me to do that. So, yeah. Thanks, Nama. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Zimbabwe. We love you. Oh, yo. Yeah. We say shout out to all those women that stay in the night side by side to our creatives. Itai. You know, one song that almost in the year tend to be like a national anthem. A song that everyone, everywhere, waking up, getting into the bathroom, taking a shower, <laughs> they will just find themselves singing that song. The outstanding song for last year. I think this is the biggest. The outstanding the song. Biggest. You know, like we all have our favorite songs, but this time around, let us find out who is on the nominees list for Outstanding Musician of the Year. Outstanding Song. Tiriku Tandara by Dorcas Moyo. Fire Emoji by Tabonga Leo Makumbeze, Leo Magos. Farai Gazani, Bling 4, and Brian Kajgamuranga, Brian Jack. Zimbabwean Queen by Emeji Chizanga, Freeman, and Chris Martin. Outstanding song. Now, who do you think won in this category? Say it again. I will say it again. Fire emoji, emoji. by Leo Magomedes. Brunchy, brunchy, kundis. I'm 
what he's searching for, I'm going to need Fire emojis, fire emojis It's just easy, baby, it's just easy, baby Thank you so much, Zimbabwe, thank you so much, HACC, thank you so much, Nama Thank you so much, thank you so much Dilema Shoko Mashoma Eh, and now we are going to speech, Nas That's what we expect, I'll just wanna ask So yeah Thank you so much to everyone who has been supporting me. Thank you so much to my team. Thank you so much to all the, the crew behind the scenes, my producers, my directors, my bloggers. Shout out to Zim Celebs. Shout out to Juan Sukari Mponda Sugar, my management. Shout out to 053. Shout out to Director Leo V. The list goes on. Thank you so much, my dad, Nive Panaba. Shout out to National Arts Council uh, for recognizing my work. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the page. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for... Chizimbe, 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 Chizimbe. Now, how many times have you tried to sing along to a hip-hop track and not gotten very far? Me too. Good thing there are people who are great at it. I think it's best we leave it to the experts. Our next performance is a fusion of different musicians, kind of like a pizza with all your favorite toppings. Please welcome a man who broke the internet with his voice, 14-year-old Andrea the vocalist. Alongside Saint Flo, Leo Magos, and hip hop sensations Mujaya, Holy Tin, and Mukomana, Anima One, Anima Plan, Volts JT.
Wow, what a wow, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a round of applause one more time. What a wow, I must say. <laughs> what a performance, what a performance, guys. This is what we mean when we say unlocking dreams. In 2023, and the 21st edition of the numbers, guys, can I see Naku Vota? Usazo Chema Nesu. Panechinonzi People's Choice Award tonight. We're going to be announcing it very soon. I hope you are having a nice time wherever you are at home there. Thank you so much for staying with us. Guys on Facebook, I see all those uh, loves and likes, yeah? Thank you so much for staying with us. Madam Boss, what it is? At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going straight into an award where we are talking about uh, the artists in the diaspora. And to present that award, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Sports, Arts and Culture. Of course, we take care of the youth there. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome Dr. Togozile Chitepo. everybody. Um, it's a great honor and pleasure for me to thank the artist who is in the diaspora and is flying our flag high. The nominees for this category are Outstanding Artist in the Diaspora Tawanda Tanaka Fire, China Charmaine Shamiso Mapimbiro aka Shasha, South Africa Tafara Yatanza, USA Mongile Mlambo, USA. Outstanding artist in the diaspora. The winner is Tafara Nyatanza. Tanako Music. Hey yo, oh man, uh, I didn't even prepare a speech for this. I didn't even know I was gonna win this. But I would like to thank the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe and the NAMAS for recognizing the work we do in the diaspora. And Tinoshi uh, Ashirama Ningi, Tinoshi Bonga Yamo, Mandau Esha Rika Ninga Bongwe, and it's possible. I'd like to thank my brothers in Barashi Nyatanza. I'd like to thank my mom in South Africa, Florence Suela, for helping me and always supporting me. I don't even know what to say, but I think I said everything. Thank you so much. And thank you so much and congratulations to the winner there, ladies and gentlemen. At this point in time, allow me to welcome a man who is no stranger in the entertainment world, a deputy minister in the... Uh, sports ministry as well. His name is uh, Honorable Tino Machakaire. But you know what? He's also a promoter and he's coming to present the Promoter of the Year Award as well. Uh, Honorable Minister, I know that uh, he has done quite a bit of work as far as from we were here when he brought Ricky Rose as well. Sabona Baba Gunjan. So, Kalam, who choose the promoter of the year? Um, probably, I'm also going to be a, a, a winner since I'm also a promoter. So, the next award goes to, to the promoter of the year. The nominee is the nominees are special awards promoter of the year, Matabeliland Natural Resources Management, Exmo Squad. Two Kings Entertainment, Chippa's Promotion, Promoter of the Year. And the winner is Exmo Squad. Gani Records. Don't tend the Changara. Mariba Panduba Kaita Azo, we are Pech Gonendi, Nangana to Parada, Bill Gamma Vets, Bangala Tundi, Kangan, Kankarin Shumba, no Tara, 
Nas Chimbo Chang Dino Shara, but they ba 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 ba. Awita, awita. Ba bingi bangi me se gana si ba. To the rest of the squad, this is for the squad. It takes a team to make the event flawless. The squad includes all you, the artists. Without you, we have nothing to promote. And thanks to National Arts Council and also to the rest of the, the friends, partners, uh, my partner in there, who we have done back to back. All the promoters, this is for you. We have won together. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me, at, the, at this point in time, allow me to, to, to present the Arts Personality Award. And the, the next award goes to the Arts Personality of the Year. And the winner is Dominic Benura. Dominic Benura's Dominic stone Benura. sculpting has seen him take his work across the globe with permanent displays like the Nelson Mandela Foundation in South Africa, Benson Park, Colorado, and Atlanta Airport in the USA. In 2022, the city of Carmel, Indiana, in the United States of America, proclaimed May 14 as the Dominic Benura Day, thanks to the immense value that he adds with his interpretive pieces. He is also a Nama Legends winner and continues with his work both locally and abroad, flying the Zimbabwean flag high. Um, <laughs> I'm lost of words, actually. I was not expecting anything tonight, but this recognition at home means a lot to me. I think it's a way of telling me from the experience I have in the art industry for nearly 40 years, it's high time I also try and uh, help others budding artists. Thank you very much for this honor. An honor from home means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And now presenting the Arts Service Award, please welcome our guest of honor tonight. She made the nation proud by becoming Africa's most decorated Olympian. And now she continues to lead and inspire from the front. Ladies and gentlemen, the Minister of Youth, Sport, Arts and Recreation, the Honorable Dr. Kirsty Coventry. Thank you very much. It is uh, truly my honor to present the next two awards. The first one starting with the Arts Service Award. As you all know, serving my country has been close to my heart, and the next recipient of this award is Davison Maruziba. Davison Maruziba is a seasoned journalist with a career spanning over four decades long, and he studied journalism at the City University, London, before working for the Lancashire Evening Post and Chronicle in Wigan. Back home, he has worked for both public and private newspapers as an editor, where he has seen to it that, that an arts desk would be established in the world of print. In previous years, he has also worked as a NAMA monitor, and his experience and eye for the arts places him as an expert who has given to the growth of the arts. He is also the coordinator of Panorama magazine, which looks at the arts in the Southern African region. Namai Rupre Meza Mastreet Nas. I. I. Right. I, I particularly want to acknowledge the role that the National Arts, Arts Council has done, has played in promoting the creative cultural industry. But more importantly, I think we need to acknowledge the role that the partners have been playing in making NAMA great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The, the next award is the Lifetime Achievement Award. And this award has been designed to honor those while they are still with us. We were very lucky to honor Mbuya Stella Tuweshe while she was still with us before she passed on. This award thanks those who have devoted their lives to the arts. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lifetime Achievement Award 
goes to Barbara Nkale. Barbara Makali Sangala is one of the earliest published female writers in Zimbabwe, writing both fiction and non-fiction books in both Ndebele and English, and is also a Nama Legends winner. Her writing career began when she won a national competition for her first book, Kilindini, a detective thriller, and her second book, Umendo, which was considered a classic for its portrayal of the marriage institution. In 2015, she was awarded a PhD by the National University of Science and Technology for her work. Barbara coordinated the translation and publishing of the IBS Zimbabwe Shona and Ndebele Bibles, as well as the Chichewa New Testament. She later founded Radiant Publishing, whose vision is to publish for transformation. She has also founded the Barbara Clara Makalisa Ngala Literary Trust to promote Ndebele literature. Uh, good evening. Uh, I'm standing here for Gogo Barbara Makalisa. She couldn't be with us tonight. She had a medical emergency and she's outside the country, but she managed to um, send a voice note, which I'm going to play through for you right now. Wow. Unless uh, maybe technology fails us, um, I don't think it's audible. Um, is it working? Just sitting quietly and minding my... Oh, it, it won't work. It won't be very uh, audible. But she is saying she is very humbled uh, to receive this honor tonight. She says she wasn't expecting it. And uh, she thanks the Nama for recognizing her. She is thankful to you, Minister. And she's saying now these are her sunset days. And she wants to dedicate them to helping the young and upcoming artists. Thank you very much on her behalf. Our theme tonight is the hashtag unlocking dreams. Don't go anywhere. Nama will be right back. The 21st NAMA has been made possible through sponsorship from Ginger Apple Group, Platinum Events Group, Black Shark Security, Mboda TV, Click and Pay, and Flash Freight Delivery. Hashtag Unlocking Dreams. Welcome to the 21st National Arts Merit Awards. Hosted by the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe in conjunction with Jacaranda Culture and Media Corporation. Hashtag Unlocking Dreams. Welcome back. This is Nama 21 Unlocking Dreams. For 21 years, this artist has been serving flames. Consistency has been the name of his game. We first fell in love with his sound in the year 2000 when the government of Zimbabwe made the decision to support local content by making it mandatory for TV and radio stations to give first preference to local music. This would see the rise of genres that had never before been given a chance to thrive. In the stroke of genius, a crop of talent emerged that would soon find themselves nurturing the music industry for decades to come. Inak Munenga, who we would all soon come to know and love as XQ, came onto the scene. His first release, Ndirimu Salala, was a hit. His Shona rap was so alluring, you wanted to understand, even if you didn't speak the language. I remember at the time, I was in high school in Bulawayo, and I had never truly appreciated our local scene. But Musalala had me singing along as an eager teen, simply starstruck and amused that Zimbabwe could do this. And I know I wasn't the only one, because XQ's music cut across cultures and age groups. His cool and calm demeanor, wrapped in a relatable persona, quickly made him a household name and a fan favorite. Some of his hits include Bachura, Nema, Wakatemba, Secure the Bag, and Nezangu, 
off his 2021 album, Verified Milestone, winning awards and international recognition, releasing albums, thousands of hours of live performances, international tours, massive collaborations, and memorable hits to last generations. It's been 21 years since we first were introduced to the brilliance of XQ. As Nama celebrates 21 years of excellence, we celebrate 21 years of Msalala. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Puriri himself. XQ, supported by Amara Brown, Freeman, Toki Vibes, and DJ Tamuka. Mr. Puriri. Let me tell you, I saw these photos of you cheating on me, yeah, you cheating on me. 
Welcome to the stage, Dr. Maraire and the chairman of JCMC, the event hosting company, Mr. Steve Kedzao. Okay, guys, I spoke to you at the... So guys, I saw you at the beginning, and we promised you a great show. So tell me, did we deliver? Yeah. National Arts Council of Zimbabwe, we're gonna keep delivering and making it better and better every year. Thank you for your participation. Now, we present a category that cuts across all sectors. This is your opportunity as the crowd to tell us what you love. So it's an amazing opportunity to be with our event coordinator who has delivered an amazing event. Manelo Zimbabwe. 
Chakanaka Chakanaka Mukaka Arongui Muniu. Good evening, Zimbabwe. Good evening, HICC. Good evening, talent artists and also hardworking artists. It is, my name is Zivanai Soko Steve Zhao. I came to Zimbabwe, I came to Zimbabwe almost 30 years. It is my honor to have a chance to work with a Zimbabwe artist, especially with a young artist. It is my honor. And also it is honor of Jakarta Media, Culture Media Corporation to work with National Arts Council to present a such wonderful show to Zimbabwe. Thank you, CCMC team. Thank you, my teams. Five years is not short time. From 2019, JCMC take over as an event manager for NAMA. I believe we have tried our best. Um, if Zimbabwe needed, JCMC will be there. If you need us, continue, NAMA will be there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, what have you picked? We are now going to get the People's Choice Award. So tonight, of all the artists we saw, of all the things we heard, what do you think is your choice? <laughs> Wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, the People's Choice Award for NAMA 2023 at 21 years old goes to Theophilus Chigumira, aka Mike Irifodi. Come on up. Woo! Let's give him a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, Chakanaka Chakanaka Mukaka Rungumunyu. I'm not seeing that shit already. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much. Um, this... Anyway, thank you so much. This is not my award. Iri Awards. Renu and the chooser. And anyway, thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Anyway, um, um, by getting the People's Choice Awards, um, I think it kind of means that people like you and maybe they listen to what you say. So, at this moment, I would just like to take this opportunity to say, guys, round. But I hope I'm scooting my drugs. Please say no to drug abuse, guys. Don't do drugs. I'd like to thank everyone who follows me. I'd like to thank Nama. And I'd like to thank Comrade Nyasha for your support. Thank you, guys. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful night this has been. Don't you agree? Do you not agree this has just been amazing, fantastic, all round? It's been amazing. It's been absolutely great to be here with you guys. I hope you had uh, a nice time this evening. Gemma, how did you see it? Honestly incredible. This number has topped all my expectations. Ah. Now, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't, there really wouldn't be any, any profit in us having the microphones. If we can't give a few shut-ups. <laughs> Do you have any shut-ups? You, you, you want to give? shut up to a few people. I want to shut up to my son, who's here, who was my date tonight, Zwashu Koti. Thank you so much, sir, for taking your time to come with me tonight. And of course, uh, to everybody in the room here, you are looking lovely, guys. Just give yourselves a round of applause right now, please. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been NAMA 21, Unlocking Dreams. 
My name is Charlene Mangweni Furusa Ningum Tagatili. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor, an absolute honor to be your voice host tonight. And I'm looking lovely like this, dressed by the Paris Fashion Week and internationally acclaimed designer, Ishmael of the Zaguja brand. Makora Koto, I'm Flope. Congratulations to all the winners of the Namas, as well as all the nominees and the creatives who are building our art scene every single year. Here is to another year of big dreams, the arts, and unlocking our dreams. My name is Gemma Griffiths, and it has been a pleasure being your co host tonight. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for making time to be with us. Those that are at home and watching us on social media, we love you so much and we appreciate you. And, uh, this has been Nama 21. Unlocking dreams. Good night. <laughs> Besa, pa di chakara, di chako, di chapunda mungombera, di chapunda mungombera, mera. Young boy, young boy with the big dreams. Young girl, young girl, but for I see. Give me an opportunity, I show you possibilities beyond your wildest imaginings. Paga me, sister, lasa. Yeah.